Okay, so this video is about the right hand rule. It's a reminder of what we've covered in class, um, but since I've had a lot of emails, I figured we'd go ahead and post just a brief reminder about the right hand rule. And this is used for figuring out the force due to a magnetic field moving on a, on a moving charge or on a current carrying wire. So one of the things to remember was that we talked about a direction now that we had three directions right? Three directions. And so we had to have some way of indicating whether something was coming out of the page or into the page. And we asked you to rem think about an arrow <coughs> and the pointed end of the arrow versus the tail feathers of the arrow. And I said that if the arrow was going into the page, all you would see would be the cross feathers of the arrow. And so to rep represent a vector that's going into the page, we use this circle with an X. A circle with an X, that means going into the page, the vectors going into the page. And going out of the page, coming at you, if the arrow was coming at you, all you would see is the tip of the arrow coming towards you. And so to represent a vector coming out of the page towards you, we use a circle with a dot in the center. A circle with a dot in the center to represent a vector coming out of the page. So as we define our um, coordinate system, and that's really important because as you saw in class, we can have, um, we can decide anything is up, down, left, right, into or out of whatever surface. And so for this demonstration, I'm going to use the plane of the paper or the plane of my computer screen as being the two-dimensional surface with the top of my computer screen being north, the bottom of my computer screen being south, to the right on my computer screen east, and to the left west. Again, this is the top of my computer screen, the bottom of my computer screen, the right and the left. So anything going into the into the screen, like through the screen this way, would be represented with a circle and an X. That's some a vector that's pointing from the camera through the screen to the other side. <coughs> and then of course anything coming out of the screen towards the camera out of the screen towards the camera would be represented by a circle with a dot in it. So I'm going to move this little um, coordinate system up here so that you can see it and we can remember what we were talking about when we go to do some examples. And then I'm going to remind you of sort of what we talked about, the cool physics hand, hand signal. You took your right hand and you put your pointer finger out and then we extended the middle finger at a 90 degree angle from the pointer finger and then put your thumb up. So your thumb is at 90 degrees to both of these, to both of these fingers. So you have your pointer finger at a 90 degree angle with your middle finger and both of those fingers at a 90 degree angle with your thumb. And remember that we said your, your pointer finger always has to be the one on the outside because as we do a cross product, when we do our cross vector A into vector B, it has to be curling in like we're closing our hand. <coughs> so, to recall, our pointer finger represented the velocity of the moving charge. Our middle finger was the magnetic field, the direction of the magnetic field was pointing. And then we could put our thumb was the force. So we knew that when we crossed the, the um, moving charge 
with the magnetic field that the resultant would point in the direction of your thumb. So let's do an example like you would see it on your homework. So let's say that the magnetic field was pointing, I'm sorry, that the particle was traveling into the screen and our magnetic field was pointing to the left of our screen you would take your pointer finger and uh, point it into the screen your um, middle finger would point in the direction of the magnetic field which was to the left of our screen and then put your thumb up in whatever way it naturally goes and that points the direction of the force so in this case my force is up towards the top of the screen or north my velocity was this way into the screen my magnetic field was to the left my force is up let's do another one <coughs> Let's say this time my magnetic field is going into the screen. My velocity is up. Which direction is the force? So my velocity is up. So my pointer finger goes up. My magnetic field is into the screen. So I can't leave my hand the way it is. I have to rotate it so that the magnetic field is pointing into the screen. My velocity was up my magnetic field was into the screen so as I extend my thumb my thumb points to the left that's the direction that the charge will f the force of the charge <coughs> the moving charge particle in this case will be to the left <coughs> the same thing can be done with current remember we said for current it was I L cross B so really your current takes the position of your um, of the velocity from the other one so let's do another one because I'm limited with the camera here and what angles are good to catch this I'm going to say that the current carrying wire goes to the left and it's in a magnetic field that comes out of the screen and I want to find the force so I put my forefinger, my pointer finger in the direction of the of the current carrying wire. I put my middle finger in the direction of the um, the field which is coming out of the screen and then my thumb points up. So the force on this wire would be up. So that is a reminder of the right hand rule. If you have questions you know how to reach me. Um, good luck with your homework and see you tomorrow.